Thank you for considering InTouch GPS for your vehicle GPS tracking needs. What I'm going to do in this very short video is give you an overview of the application and show you that we're the best value for the lowest price in the industry. This is a web-based tracking application that's accessible from any computer, smartphone, tablet that has an internet connection. There are three main navigation sections in the application. The big blue tabs are the first main navigation section we'll cover here. These cover what you'll use on a day-to-day -day basis. Associated with each main tab, you'll see a subset menu. The subset menus are listed here for the locations tab, for example, current and destinations. Each tab may have its own set of subset items. The third navigation area is in the top right hand corner of the application. These cover setup configuration items that you don't necessarily use on a day to day basis. The first tab we're going to cover here is the locations tab. This is the high level overview of your fleet, 10,000 foot view if you will. Where are all my vehicles? What are they doing? Are they stopped? Are they moving? Are they idling? What address are they at? And how long have they been there? You'll see we've broken it down into two sections, the devices on the left-hand side and the mapping on the right-hand side. We're an enterprise partner with Google, so we do use Google Maps throughout the application. You can click on any vehicle name and center it centers it on the map, opens an info bubble, and gives you a little bit of information about the driver, if it's moving, how fast it's traveling, uh, if there's any scheduled maintenance tasks for that particular vehicle. You also have some advanced zoom options a shortcut to the reports, to the maintenance tasks, and also to the street view option if you'd like to use that. It's also important to note that our devices update every 60 seconds, every minute when the ignition's on, so you get rapid report real-time information, and every hour when the ignition's off. In addition to that, you can group vehicles into different groups and divisions, as you can see here. You can, in addition to that, you can also actually create user preferences so that only certain users can log in and see certain vehicles. You can also search for a device or find the nearest vehicle to a particular address or geofence that you select and filter the devices based on the groups that you've placed them in. As we're going through this, one of the things that you can't help but to notice is the user interface. It's extremely easy to navigate and user friendly. It's very intuitive. The next tab we're going to cover is the dashboard tab. On the dashboard tab, you have two dashboards available to you, a standard dashboard and an advanced dashboard. I'll cover these in more detail in other videos, but it suffices to say that the dashboards highlight uh, different vehicles based on the categories you'd like to see them in and how they rank against other drivers. For example, I can easily see who my top idlers are, the people with the most speeding events, my most used vehicles. The advanced dashboard gives you a lot more flexibility and functionality in regards to setting goals for different metrics uh, and also being uh, completely specific to the particular user who's logged in. For example, the maintenance manager may want to see things related to maintenance tasks, whereas an operations manager may want to see things more related to productivity. The next tab is the reports tab. Our report suite is phenomenal. We have three different main categories for the reports. We have an online based reports section here that is basically historical reporting for all the devices for up to 12 months and there's a plethora of reports available to you including trips, reading, stops, speeding, idling, sensors for refrigerated uh, temperatures, you can have alarms for the different sensors, we have geofence reports, first movement reports, time card and also state mileage for to help with the IFTA reports. We also have a more advanced reports uh, section which is called our advanced downloads and this allows you to run single device reports or multiple device reports. Very uh, very robust. Th lastly we have a scheduled download section. Within the scheduled download section you're able to select a particular report, select the report type PDF, CSV, Excel, select how often you want to get it and it's going to be emailed to you automatically. Once you set up your report, you'll just get it in your email every day that you've selected to get it with whatever reports. And of course, you can select additional recipients for those particular reports as well. We also have a drivers tab that actually allows you to create and set up your drivers and assign them to the particular vehicles. We also offer a driver ID solution that automates the driver ID component so that if you have multiple drivers driving the same truck, each driver can log in with an RFID key. The maintenance tasks section allows you to create and view maintenance task statuses for vehicles. So for example, you can see here there are two maintenance tasks for two vehicles uh, and it gives you a due, how many miles they're due in and what their current status is. 
You can also run a report here, go back in time for a particular status to also run reports on completed maintenance tasks, past due, pending, whatever status you actually want to filter on. The driver scorecard tab allows you to see all your drivers and their relative scores. We grade drivers in a few different categories, speeding, aggression, idling, and seatbelt. You can select each individual driver to get a little more insight into the different events within each category. So to go back up to the configuration menu in the setup area in the application, under setup you'll see a few different options, account settings, users, divisions, devices, groups, geofences, and schedules. These are the types of things that you're going to configure once, set and forget type things. But one thing that's really important to note in the application is what is available to get notifications for. So for example, for notifications, you can get a text message or email for all the things listed here, idling, uh, if it idles longer than a certain specified time you set, geofence, enter and exit, speeding, if a vehicle starts up after hours, if a maintenance task is due, if there's an aggressive driving event or the first movement of the day. You can get a text message, email, anybody who's a user on the account uh, can get these notifications sent directly to their cell phone or right to their email or both, whatever their individual settings are. So the last thing I want to cover here is our Get Help section. This is the Help Center, and within the Help Center you can submit support tickets, you can order more devices, you can get our recent updates for feature improvements, for bug fixes, you can talk to us over the live chat, you can call us, and of course you can view our training videos as well. So I promise to keep this video short, so I'm going to go ahead and end it now. But I want to thank you for watching the InTouch GPS video. We don't do contracts, so we have to earn your business every month. So we provide first-class customer service with a very user-friendly application with enterprise-level features at the best pricing in the industry. Thank you for checking us out.